there is a realization that a foundational structure needs to be replaced. I'm hearing this is in your belief systems. There is an understanding here of this discrepancy, or at least there is an understanding here, there is a change in a point of view, there is, there is an understanding here that of how things could be changed for the better. And there is a desire to start working on that. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So, welcome to Thursday, October 28th. I hope you guys are feeling well. This, keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? So this is, this is for the collective. It's a collective general daily reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, even though this is dated for the 28th of October, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to necessarily resonate for you at that time. Always keep in mind, you guys, that energies are fluid. So a message may come through for you that may not necessarily resonate right away or immediately, but then later on, as time goes on, you may understand the message later on, okay? So keep that in mind. Energies are fluid and all that good stuff. I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope you were able to get through the moon's transit through Gemini well enough. Um, the moon is now in Cancer. As of about noon today, the moon will be around eight degrees of Cancer. So yay. Uh, the moon will be moving into Taurus, uh, not in, into Leo, excuse me. It will be moving into Leo tomorrow around like 10 a.m. And it's going to be in Leo for... I want to say most of the weekend, definitely Friday, Saturday, maybe a little bit into Sunday, because um, Leo is one of the bigger constellations, so it's going to take some time to move through it. I feel like this, I don't know exactly how long the transit is. I feel like it's going to be around two and a half days or something, but um, the, the moon being in Leo is a really expressive energy, and that's probably going to help add some fun and excitement and exuberance to the weekend, seeing that it is Halloween weekend, yes. Um, so that could be really fun and exciting. Just uh, be careful not to overdo it. <laughs> okay, but anyway, today, Thursday, the moon is in Cancer. Um, and already, as I was talking through the session and looking at the chart with Patreon, um, I, I, I'm feeling a lot, there is a, there is an energy in the collective today about expressing yourself. All right. But keep in mind, this is the, again, the energies are fluid. So you may not really feel the real push, the real need, the real drive to express yourself until maybe Friday, Saturday comes around because then the moon will be in Leo and Leo is a very expressive energy. All right. So, um, with that said, you, I keep hearing for the collective at this time to express yourself, but a big message, the, the, big, the big thing about that is express yourself in the way that you need to, because for the collective, I'm picking up on these energies of, with the moon being in Cancer, lots of unconditionally loving energy, okay? Lots of nurturance, lots of care. Self-care is also a theme for this right now. Keep in mind that uh, Cancer is the moon's home sign, okay? So that's really promoting health and wellness of the self, of the body, of the emotions, of your feelings. Um, it, may be, it may be making you a little, a little more sensitive towards your family and your friends, wanting to spend time with them, wanting to love and nurture them, care for them. Uh, but then also, what we were talking about with the moon having been in Gemini yesterday and kind of the day before, uh, it felt like there were some things that were popping up in your mind and if you if you if you watched that video that I posted two days ago about it we were saying you know now it, that wasn't really the time to express or to talk about it it was more a time to listen and now as the moon gets into cancer now we're getting into or the moon is in cancer uh, literally at this point but uh, now we're in the energies of the unconditionally loving energies the the care and the compassion and the nurturance that may be necessary for you to express yourself, but for you to express yourself in a healthy way, in a balanced and harmonious way. And it also, it feels like it's lending some energies to the collective to make others around you receptive to what it is you have to say and receptive to what it is you're feeling. Your feelings may be a big focus for you right now with the moon being in Cancer, all right? 
But the big message there is to love yourself and to nurture yourself. Love yourself enough to allow yourself to express yourself in the way that comes naturally to you and or in a way that really sh really gets out what you need to get out or really says what you need to say. Because moving forward, there it feels like there are chances for things to start to become balanced out, for discrepancies to be healed and, and pushed aside. Um, but... In order to do that effectively, what needs to happen is you need to have the love, the care, and compassion for yourself that's necessary to even begin to express it so that it can come out in the open and it can be made aware, uh, awareness of it can be generated and then you can start to heal, okay? Excellent. I want to get into the cards now. And we will see what we've got for the collective in the cards today. Yeah, here we go. I spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, and places and circumstances in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys. So channeling from the universe here as I'm just connecting, it, I just get this feeling that with the moon being in Cancer right now, this is a very beneficial time for us, a very healing energy. There's so much healing energy, nurturing air energy, caregiving energy, and even expressive energy in the air, okay? But the big feeling for the collective today, for the next few days, really, um, is healing. Express yourself. Allow yourself to say what it is you need to say. Just get it out there, okay? Unconditionally loving energy is, is, is by your side. It has got your back, all right? Don't be afraid to express, express yourself. Let's get this five shuffles. Yeah, this is one. For the collective, this is two. You guys, my finger, I don't know what happened. But my finger split open right here. You see it's red, but like right there. And that's right where it, maybe it happened where, where I was shuffling cards, but like it, oh, you guys, it hurts. <laughs> uh, this is, It's so inconvenient. This is three. <laughs> All right. Four. Four, the collective, and five. I keep healing and, and, and uh, ameliorating energy. Is that a word? Ameliorate to ameliorate? An ameliorating energy? That's what I'm hearing. This is five. I don't know. For all my vocabulary nerds out there, is that a word? Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this. What do we have for the collective today? Please, spirit. What messages do we have for the collective today? So communication may really be key here today or at this moment for whenever this resonates for you. Overall energy is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Underneath the Page of Swords is the Ace of Wands to the Star to the Eight of Wands. It's all about communication right now. Okay. Or at least it's necessary. There's something that needs to be said. There's something that needs to be said here. And it feels like it's going to be bringing a resolution you have the Ten of Pentacles with the King of Cups, 
and then the Knight of Swords, but the Knight of Swords is reversed. The Knight of Swords is feeling like a fight, a pushy type energy. This might have been the energy that you were feeling as the moon was moving through Gemini over the last two days. And it feels like with the Knight of Swords in reverse here, instead of driving through or pushing through or being super aggressive about it, especially with the King of Cups here upright, the King of Cups would represent a sense of emotional security, okay? Emotional maturity, emotional balance. And some of you may have really wanted to push through pile drive through something is what I just heard because your emotions were flaring and even though the moon is in cancer right now which would mean emotions could be really high I feel like there is a strong sense of emotional maturity involved here because I feel like instead of just fighting and pushing forward knight of swords in reverse I feel like we're really ready to talk about it ready to just have an equal exchange of information, equal exchange of the facts. Both of these cards, both the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords represent Gemini energy for me as a reader, okay? Um, but it's it's representing two sides of this energy. In, again, instead of fighting, I feel like there is at least the potential for people to pull back and just have a general conversation or just have a conversation in which the facts are coming out, the facts are being discussed. It's there isn't no there are there isn't much strong emotional push or drive. It just feels like this energy of let me just let me just have a conversation with you about it. Page of Swords. Let me just inquire about this. Let me learn about this. Let me hear you out. That's all coming. That, I mean, most of it is coming from this King of Cups energy. All right. There is a very much emotionally mature energy here. Emotionally balanced. Emotionally calm. I'm hearing integrated as well. And with the Ten of Pentacles here, this all feels like you're, it's serving a long-term purpose or a long-term goal. Maybe this could be something that you have been working on for a long time. Or maybe it's something that you will set off to work to work on and resolve in the future. Maybe the near future, although the Ten of Pentacles does represent long-term goals. I did hear the near future. So that is, the, that is for some of you. Um, but the goal here is to bring it to completion, Ten of Pentacles, okay? And again, instead of fighting aggressively, we're calmly, maybe even eagerly talking it out. Not bad. You have two more cards here. Um, both have fallen face down. So these are kind of energies underneath the surface for the collective. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you have the page of pentacles here. And you have the four of wands in reverse. This could definitely be talking about your home and your family night life, especially since the moon being in Cancer. That's Cancer's. Or I'm sorry, that's the moon's home sign. Cancer is the ruler of the fourth house. This is your house of family, the house of nurturance. How you nurture yourself, how you were nurtured as a child in your home and family life, which is a direct result of how you have learned to nurture and care for yourself now, whether for better or for worse, right? Whether good or bad. But what is going on here is there is a realization because um, because the overall energy, with for the overall energy, the deck split to this one space and I opened it and it's the hanged man. So there is a realization um, that a foundational structure needs to be replaced. I'm hearing this is in your belief systems. There is an understanding here of this discrepancy. Or at least there is an understanding here. There is a change in a point of view. There is there is an understanding here that of how things could be changed for the better. And I feel and what I just heard is there is there is a desire to start working on that. Okay. 
The four of wands in reverse is not a bad thing, you guys. I'm not. I'm not getting a pretty. I'm not getting a bad energy from it. I'm just getting an energy of understanding that, and then this may be four of cups is now showing up. This may have been a topic of contention for a while, or this may have been on the table for a while, and you've just been ignoring it for whatever reason. But now I feel like you're ready because you understand how things could be different. You understand how things, how it's necessary for things to be different in some cases. And what I'm hearing is you're ready and you're willing to go through with that now. So also for some of us here, this Knight of Swords energy could have been, um, <coughs> excuse me, could have been viciously fighting back against whatever change is taking place. Resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Cool. Uh, let's start clarifying a little bit more. Five shuffles here. Okay. Shuffling for the next few days is going to be really interesting with my finger having exploded like this. One. Did I mention that we're doing happy hour tonight? This is two. I'm planning on doing happy hour tonight. Mm, so stay tuned. This is three. Four. And five. I want to talk about the Four of Wands in reverse first. Yes? Ooh, whoa. Interesting, you guys. I want to talk about the Four of Wands, but then I also do want to talk about this Knight of Swords in reverse a little bit, just to get the tea on that one. And look at, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> the Knight of Swords. Someone was fighting against something. I don't want to, okay. I, yeah, see, look, underneath the Knight of Swords is the Five of Swords. Ugh. All right, we're going to look. We'll, we'll talk about the Knight of Swords in a second. But let's start, first, let's start with the Four of Wands. What's the Four of Wands in reverse for the, the collective, please, Spirit? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, there are definitely resolutions or reconciliations coming with this. And it all has to do with communicating. Overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. And yes, the Three of Pentacles can represent self-mastery, and I say that a lot here on this channel. But I feel very specifically that, that this has, I just heard, strengthening the bonds between people. So this actually has more to do with teamwork, working together, um, co-creating, finding common ground and building, building from there between you and other people. This feels like, yes, it does feel like self-mastery is, a, has a, had a big role here, but with this King of Cups energy, this emotional maturity that's here, I feel like this now is a moment where you've taken all of this energy and you've put all this energy into You've taken all this time and you've put all this energy into working on yourself, healing, building a better foundation for yourself. And now those efforts in self-mastery feel like they are extending outside of you. And now you're getting a chance to co-create or master, remaster your foundation between you and other people. Hold on. Sorry, my nose was running a little there. Okay, but anyway, um, so you have this three of pentacles here. And I, teamwork, teamwork, you guys, okay? Teamwork, co-creation, that's what I'm feeling and that's what I'm hearing. But, you. so we're, remember we're clarifying the four of wands in reverse here. Very first card out is the page of cups. This is reconciliation. This is extending an, a hand or an offer of love to someone. This is a new emotional reality. But I'm literally getting, I am hearing, I'm sorry. So I do feel like some people will be extending apologies to each other. And I feel like this is genuine. I definitely feel like this is genuine. Resolutions can be found in this energy. But it all depends, oh, I'm sorry, Page of Cups to the Six of Wands. 
okay? Victory, recognition, success. Emo on an emotional level, I just, I feel reconciliations here, all right? I really feel reconciliations here. But it all hinges. Is that the right word? Hinges. It's all dependent on communication, eight of wands. So, yes, express yourself and say exactly what it is that you need to say. Be compassionate. Don't go, don't go trying to tear people down, rip people a new one, or try and make them feel worse or bad for whatever happened here. But honest communication. Say exactly what it is that needs to be said. Okay. Love yourself unconditionally enough to say exactly what needs to be said or to even speak up about it at all. All right. Knight of Swords in reverse. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse, please, Spirit? Temperance in reverse. Yeah, a lack of balance. And I feel like this balance was heavily, was being heavily um, uh, resisted against. Temperance in reverse with the world. Knight of Swords in reverse. Anything else? Yeah, Three of Swords. Okay, leave it right there. Oh, 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 and would you look at that, you guys? Five of Swords yet again. Okay, so this Knight of Swords energy is definitely connected to this. Oh, look, and then it's right underneath it. See? Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So what you've been experiencing here, if you've been experiencing something very specific with other people or just one specific person, and they've been fighting you, there's been resistance towards change or something like that, their Knight of Swords energy or the Knight of Swords energy that was showing up here, yes, it was a defense mechanism. It wasn't a beneficial me defense mechanism. You know, it was a lose-lose situation. It probably was a very alienating situation for some, okay? Five of Swords. But it was still a defense me me mechanism because it was coming from a place of lack of purse, of self-worth, lack of self-belief, feeling left out in the cold, all that kind of stuff. But, but we have an end to that now. Temperance is in reverse, yes, because we're clarifying the Knight of Wands, uh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords, but you have the world here. So that's representing a completion of the situation, the transition from one cycle and stepping into the next. And then you also have the Three of Swords which is representing what is coming to an end here. So there is pain, there are painful situations. This could be between family. Fourth house, cancer. It's, I do feel family vibes here, but I feel like a resolution is, is coming to, is coming to pass, okay? I'm actually wanting to get one closing message just from the cards here, and then we'll move to a, a closing oracle guidance, yeah? So, Anything else, Spirit, that you want to say? I, resolutions are at hand. That's what I'm hearing, all right? Anything else? Last message here. Interesting, you guys. Um, there is a strong level of maturity, emotional maturity, that is coming through for this situation. I do feel like for some of you, this is somebody else, someone external to you that really has been resisting this change. And what's needed here, and subsequently what's probably happening, or ultimately what's probably happening is someone is, is stepping into a sense of sovereignty. You have the Nine of Pentacles, but you have this with the Emperor and the Four of Cups. And as I was looking at it, it, it was like this. And you see how the, the man, both the man on the Four of Cups and the Emperor are looking towards the Nine of Pentacles? 
well, it feels like the emperor energy is one's higher self coming through and looking over at this independence energy saying, we need to be over there. And then whomever this is, is looking over at it with this four of cups energy, like, I really don't want to do that. Mm, no, I think I'll pass this time. And that may have been said multiple times. Uh, I'll take a pass on that one. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, I don't want to do that. But there's something about needing to accept reality. There's something about needing to stand your ground or there needing to be an independent or a free thinker to think for yourself, to choose for yourself, to own your own life, to own your circumstances for better or for worse, and then heal them, fix them, be better, grow. And I do feel like someone is accepting this challenge. Someone is stepping into it. Someone at this point may be letting go of this resistance, Four of Cups, and are stepping into, yes, are stepping into this energy of pulling their ego in or being strong enough to accept the fact of needing to stand on their own, think for themselves. Underneath strength, which is at the bottom of the deck, overall energy, you have the Fool to the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Resolutions are coming. And I feel like the situation is about to be completed and the burdens of this situation are about to be dropped because someone decides to take a leap of faith and step in a new direction. You have the world here, right? Which was clarifying the Knight of Swords energy in reverse, which was someone being resistant. And here's that someone being resistant, even though... Even though the emperor, their higher self, the wisdom of the universe is coming through saying, this is where you need to be, nine of pentacles, sovereign, independent, free thinker at least. But someone was stuck here, four of cups, not anymore, no longer. That's coming to a close. And there's a new beginning coming because someone's getting their ego in check. Very well, maybe you watching this right now. Who knows? Take it as it resonates, you guys. Okay? No hate, no shade. Word. Let's get our closing message. Crystal Mandala. Five shuffles. Okie dokie. One. Two. kids closing oracle guidance for the collective card number 17 angel bath call and aquamarine authentic voice say exactly what it is you need to say love yourself express your love yourself enough to express yourself sufficiently purposefully Honestly, honestly, <laughs> yeah. And, and really, you guys, part of this energy that I'm feeling or part of this message that's coming through for the collective right now in, in saying exactly what it is you need to say is that this is for your own well-being also. This is for your connection with yourself. This is out of a, not just unconditional love for others, but also unconditional love for yourself. Loving yourself enough to be authentic, exactly as authentic as you need to. There's a card that didn't make it with the rest of the deck. And part of it is part of this message because the moon is gonna be going from Cancer into Leo, right? And this card that's made it, that that's, has it made, whatever. This is card number 39, Goddess Sekhmet and Fire Agate, Passion of the Lion Heart. This makes me think of Leo energy. So it's kind of wrapped into it, it's kind of tied to it. It's foreshadowing the Leo energy that's coming, but it's not really part of the message. But they're telling me to take it. Okay, all right, I'll take it. But let's start, let's read um, Aquamarine first. 
or authentic voice. Okay, here we go. We bring you the gift of authentic voice. We want you to know your own truths and to speak them in your own way because you have something of value to share. Your inner world, your unique viewpoint, and the person that you are. When you speak from your authentic voice, you help others relax, come out of their heads, into their hearts, and remember the truth of who they are as well. Your authentic voice doesn't have to sound like the voice of another, of any other. It doesn't need to always be soft, although in its own way, it will always be loving. Your authentic voice has a place in this world and has been designed to be a valuable, valuable part of the sacred, sacred choir of soul voices which creates music for the universe. As you trust in your authentic voice, your ability to manifest your divine destiny will grow and your, and your responsible use of the power of your voice will help many. Look, even if there's something here that you're like, you're really taboo or it's really taboo or you're really afraid to even put it out there, speak on it, express yourself in that way. Part of the situation, part of this energy of pushing you to do it, driving you to do it is that you may not realize how that helps somebody else as well. Not only would you be helping yourself, not only would you be strengthening your bond with yourself in saying exactly or expressing yourself exactly as you need to but you also could be helping others and you probably don't even know it. I do want to read Passion of the Lion Heart. So Goddess Sekhmet and Fire Agate, Passion of the Lion Heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat all of a sudden. Okay, that's better. <laughs> All right, here we go. We bring you the empowerment of passion of the lion heart. Through passion, you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you. Passion is love activated. It is energy that moves from within and empowers you to act in the world in ways you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength, plugs you into the eternal energy of sacred fire, and generates the ability to accomplish tasks you once may not have believed possible. With great passion, there can be great pain. The heart that loves wild and open is also the heart that can, that can feel disappointment and doubt most keenly. The empowerment of the lion heart strengthens your heart to recover from any pain through the power of courage, commitment, and bold, loving devotion to what matters most to you. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. Uh, I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to our next cup of coffee. But I also look forward to seeing you at happy hour tonight. Yes? Fantastic. Have a great one. Bye. <laughs>